hello good afternoon and welcome once again to another educative illuminative and interesting episode of verses and paragraphs and everything in between today is the 7th of may 2018 and as usual it's a nice and hot nice and hot day in lagos i'm sitting out on the balcony because it's airy and it's nice and bright and by the way how was your weekend did you get to use any of the words that we've been putting up you know we're putting up words i remember last week i put up one word fugitive which says uh, inventive or creative and of course two of my friends had a go at saying that yes i'm creative and i say no you're not creative anyhow today we'll be talking about something interesting if you've been following my facebook thread i've been posting up lots of things about people who have been misinterpreting lyrics when they hear it you know especially okay let me see um like the national nigerian national anthem oh dr Rafa james good to have you on a live broadcast thank you so much your weekend was fine i am so happy your weekend was, in fact come to think of it your weekend was more than fine because after your trip <laughs> to the hanging lake in fact the way comments have been wearing down my phone battery not a small thing but congratulations and well done and thank you for all the things you are doing via tourism of our country it's a great job you're doing thank you so much my weekend was okay it was nice and restful thank you so much for asking anyway i had posted earlier on that it has been around since the beginning of speech but only in 1954 it got a name now what are we talking about okay let's take for instance nigeria's national anthem and uh, so many people i don't know how they manage to do it they go to these primary schools and then get get uh, the children to sing the national anthem and then the words they are saying are nothing compared to exactly what it is supposed to be yes dr rafael james my brother from another mother thank you so much thank you so much i remain proud of you too you're doing a fantastic and an awesome job hey for those of you who don't know dr rafael james is um as an ajala ajala you know is an eponym for someone who travels an eponym is a name that has come be, come to be associated with the person so dr rafael james is one ajala of the sort because he travels all over he's even gone out of the country and he goes to all these tourism sites last week he went to the hanging lake which is the second in the whole world there are only two in the world one is in um Colorado or somewhere there and the other one is in our own is saying he's saying he's in Oyo state local government and he went there and he climbed the rock it took him about maybe about 30 to 45 minutes to climb and of course he posted everything and then he also went to the birthplace of Ajayi Crowder anyhow thank you so much Dr. Rafael James you're doing us proud now as I was saying when people are singing the national anthem okay I like I was saying okay there are some people we go to this primary school i don't know then they, they, there's one that's been trending on facebook i was looking for it about some little children who were singing the national anthem with such gusto and yet what was coming out of their mouths was nothing compared to the actual lyrics even while i'm laughing at children what about big adults <laughs> like like this like, like the starting of the national anthem arise oh compatriots some people say it's arise oh compassion so and it is not their fault it is what they hear and what they hear is what they sing now today we'll be talking about these things that people have been saying since the beginning of speech but it was only in 1954 it got a name and the name of such that's misinterpreting mishearing lyrics is called monday green monday green monday green okay let me hold it up for you and you'll see monday green Mondegreen. That's our, that's our topic for today. Today we'll be talking about Monday greens and what are Monday greens. Hello, Yomi, Yomi Garnet, Yomi Garnet. 
Thank you for joining our live broadcast and it's good to have you on the show. This is verses and paragraphs and everything in between where we talk everything English, grammar, poetry, prose, writing and what have you. Especially English because English is our lingua franca and hey, even though it's not our language, let's try and speak it right. Today we are talking about Monday Green. A Monday grain is a word or phrase resulting from a misinterpretation of another word or phrase that we hear. Hello, my sister, my baby sister. Oh, she's a big woman. Oh, my baby sister, Eloho FMY, is watching all the way from Edinburgh, Edinburgh in Scotland. My younger sister has an online Christian radio station, and one of her programs arrives with Eloho is going to be one tomorrow. Congratulations in advance. Today we're talking about Monday Greens. Hello, that should interest you, Dr. Rafael James. It should interest you too. Because a Monday Green is a word or phrase resulting from a misinterpretation of another word or phrase that we hear. Monday Greens share homophony. Okay, Dr. Yomi of Kaduna. Yes, Dr. Yomi, I remember you now. Yes, I am a friend. I remember you. Yes, sir. yes, 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 Dr. Yomi, I remember. I didn't know. <laughs> Thank you for joining our live broadcast. So now, Monday Greens, they share homophone. That is, they sound like the original wording, but often change the meaning of the word or phrase entirely with amusing results. The term Monday Green is usually applied to misheard song lyrics of poetry, but it can also refer to other types of speech, like I was saying earlier on, our national anthem, Nigeria's national anthem. The first opening lines, Arise, O Compatriots. And many people think, Arise, O Compassion. In fact, I have so many Monday Greens here, Monday Greens here for you today. But first, where did the word Monday Green come from? It is said that Sylvia Wright, an American author, coined the term after a phrase she recalled mishearing as a young girl. According to Wright, she believed the first stanza from the 17th century ballad, The Bonnie Earl O. Murray, featured two unfortunate aristocrats. Now, this is the stanza Ye highlands and ye lowlands, oh, where have you been? They have slain the Earl O. Murray and Lady Monday Green. Now, so she was thinking that there were two aristocrats, Earl Murray and Lady Monday Green. Actually, what that word is, the correct phrasing of the fourth line is actually, and laid him on the green. But that is where the terminology came from, Monday Green. Instead of Lady Monday Green, she thought it was Lady Monday Green. And so, in 1954, Sheila Wright gave us a name for this phenomenon. Although people have been misinterpreting words and phrases since the beginning of speech. I remember years back, there's this, when I was in Abraka, there's this Michael Jackson song. I think it's Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. Do you know what the children were singing there? They said, take a walk to the post office, see a tintin gorilla. I don't know what that had with don't stop till you get enough now i know eloho dr afajas and even dr yomi you must have heard some monday greens what are those monday greens that you have heard or maybe even your children your children may have been mispronouncing some of them you know while you are still thinking about them i'll read you some because children prove an especially entertaining source of monday greens as children hey have you listened to them say the Lord's Prayer? Have you listened to Nigerian children sing the national anthem or even say the Lord's Prayer? It is said that in the United States, younger students are known to confuse the lines of allegiance, such as, I led pigeons to the flag, which is supposed to be, I pledge allegiance to the flag. To the republic for which is dance. Ah. For which it stands is for which it stands. Liver and D and just us for liberty and justice for all. That's for the younger students in the United States of America. In Nigeria, even some adults say compassion. So, but like I, I said, Dr. Rafael Jesus, I love and Dr. Your Miganet, what are those Monday things that your children have said or you have heard people say? Anyway. I found a host of them online. There are so many Monday Greens. Let me hold up the word for you again. This is of Monday Greens. 
Monday Green comes from. They laid him on the green. And this was a woman who thought she was young. It meant Lady Monday Green. But actually, the word was Monday laid him on the green. And she called it Monday Green. And that's how the word came about. So we have Monday Greens. And Monday Greens come about as a result of misinterpretation or mispronunciation of lyrics. Okay, here are some. There is this, um, okay, say it's a song from Credence Clearwater Revivals, and the song title of song is Bad Moon Rising. The Monday Green is there's a bathroom on the right. The actual word is there is a bad moon on the rise. Then this Abba's Dancing Queen. Abba, hi, Olanru, Waju, Ola, how are you? Thank you for joining our live broadcast. Today we're talking about Monday Greens. Monday Greens are misinterpretation of words or phrases, which, especially children, they hear. Buchi Injere, thank you so much for joining our live broadcast. And I'm giving examples of Monday Greens. For example, Abba, the musical group they have this song dancing queen now the monday green that people have been singing is see that girl watch her scream kicking the dancing queen the actual sentence is see that girl watch that scene digging the dancing queen i know all i'm sure your children must have some <laughs> where is Ola? Is she in Nigeria? <laughs> Ola, where are you? Are you in Lagos, Nigeria? <laughs> Ella was I should guess where you are. Okay, she's in Nigeria. That's only because I can guess. She's in, Lagos. She's in Abuja. Where is she? Anyhow, tell me, what are the Monday Greens your children say? The Lord's Prayer? Hmm. Or the National Anthem? Now, another Monday Green. John Travolta and Olivia Newton Johns. You are the one I want if you've watched Grease. Grease is a popular film of the 80s or 70s. And the Monday Green is I've got shoes that are made of plywood. That's the Monday Green. But the actual sentence is I've got chills. They are multiplying. Then we have um, Nirvana smells like teen spirit. The Monday Green is here we are now in containers. <laughs> The actual sentence is, here we are now, entertain us, entertain us. Eugene Eromosena, thank you so much for joining our live broadcast. Eugene is watching all the way from Lagos, okay, all the way is Lagos here. Yeah? Today we're talking about Monday Greens, and Monday Greens are misinterpretations of lyrics that have been heard. Then there's this Paul Young's, every time you go away. Okay, so people have now come up with a Monday green. Every time you go away, you take a piece of meat with you. When actually the correct sentence is, hello, Eugene, take a piece of me with you. <laughs> then there is this song that we used to use when we were in primary school. That we were, you know, when, uh, when primary school <laughs> assembly, we now march into the classroom. So there is this song that we used to sing then. And the Monday Green is, I used to sing it then. It's only recently, it's only recently I know what the, cor the correct words are. They say, girls of muscles, brain, and power, feet, as in legs, to cope with everything. The correct thing is girls with virtues, brain and power fit as an fit to cope with everything but then hey we're seeing girls of muscles brain and power feet to cope with everything girls wanted you know the correct thing is girls with virtues brain and power fit to cope with everything i remember years ago my cousin my cousin she's she's in her 50s now then as a little girl she used to sing this, I think it was a nursery rhyme or some, some so, so like that, a nursery rhyme. Some of pieces of paper, pieces of paper lying on the ground. And then she used to say, PC Pepe Tidy, PC Pepe Tidy. And I used to wonder, what is PC Pepe Tidy? 
actually is it makes the place untidy and all she could think of was PC baby tidy so that is her own Monday green and then okay there is um blown in the wind by Port Island everybody knows that ah, so my friend is blowing in the wind and the Monday green is the ants are my friends ants 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 are those things that stink the ants are my friends meanwhile the correct thing is the answer my friend is blowing in the wind then some people where they want to say bone marrow transplant they say bow and arrow transplant bow and arrow instead of bone bone marrow transplant what is in edinburgh yay what is she doing there <laughs> is she with you or are you with her one or two <laughs> what is she doing Hello, I've been asking you what are the Monday greens that your children use. I'm sure your children use Monday greens when they're saying things. Then there is one here. You are the cheese to my pizza, pizza mine. The actual word is you are the key to my peace of mind. And like I was telling you about uh, Mike Jackson's those stuff to the getting off in those days in Abraka. The Monday green, you hear students saying you take a walk to the post office, see a tinting gorilla. <laughs> and then the actual thing is keep on with the force, don't stop, don't stop till you get enough. But Nigerian children, Abaka children were saying, take a walk to the post office, see a tinting gorilla, because that's what they thought they heard. And that's my question. Then some other people say, boys, boys, stop till you get enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but since you know, uh, Ella Ho says that her children use a lot, she can't remember now, but now you know what they are called. They've been around since. So that's what they are called, Monday Greens. Les Dumba is watching from, um, what's that? Place? Thank you for joining our live broadcast. Today we're talking about Monday Greens, which are misinterpretations of words you've heard before. Okay, so these are some Monday Greens of my Jackson's. Don't stop till you get enough. Like I told you, the one in Nigeria and Abraka is take a walk to the post office. Don't uh, see a ting ting gorilla. Meanwhile, the correct thing is keep on with the force. Don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough. Then this is some other Monday greens. Like right, the Jacksons, don't stop till you get enough. You have boys, stop till you get enough. And then you have come on till your heart stop. Can't stop till you get it up. Come on to the bus stop. Don't stop to get it. <laughs> These people are funny. Then there is the Lord's Prayer. Oh, the Lord's Prayer. I know that it has been murdered countlessly by children. I can't remember the ones the Nigerian children say, but at times some people post up these videos where they put the camera and get the child to recite the Lord's Prayer. And then what they are saying, it is so, so funny. Anyway, and then I saw some of these Monday greens on the Lord's Prayer. Okay, <laughs> this one goes Our Father who makes art in heaven, how do you know my name? <laughs> Dr. Raphael James said that his daughter at age two or three used to call my microphone my own phone. Ah! I remember that one reminds me too of uh, Judith. Judith's uh, younger brother. Judith's younger brother used to call microphone, your microphone, and everybody had their own microphone. So that's really interesting. Great. Thank you there, Dr. Afflings. So I'm reading Monday Greens of children when they are reading the Lord's Prayer. The first one is, Our Father, who, who makes art in heaven? How do you know my name? <laughs> that's funny. And then, and deliver us from eagles. Eagles are a fly, but it's deliver us from evil. And lead us not to pen station. No one says, deliver us some email. Hey. This one says, Hollywood, <laughs> Hollywood be thy name. Instead of hallowed be thy name. Oh God. As another one, forgive us our trash baskets. As we forgive those who put trash in our baskets. <laughs> How funny can you get? This one says, Our Father, Richard in heaven, Harold be thy name. Oh. Our Father who is locked in heaven, 
for mine is the kingdom the flower and the jewelry then you have another word again our father who shouts from heaven hello what is your name <laughs> So I'm still waiting. Okay, it's only Dr. Raphael James who has told me a Monday Green. I'm still waiting for more Monday Greens from all the people who are watching. Ella says she cannot remember anyone. All of, what are the Monday Greens that your children use? Or, yes. And Ella says you're in Edinburgh. Good to have you in Edinburgh, even though I'm here in hot Sulare Lagos. Okay. If former a belly is a woman is what from Abuja. Thank you for joining our live broadcast. Today we're talking about Monday Greens and Monday Greens are misinterpretations of lyrics that uh, people use. Even some children use them, but basically children but people use. There's this Monday Green of uh, one of the popular popular choruses we think in Nigeria all the way to Calvary he went for me <laughs> and somebody says that people say oh oh where to Calvary he went for me <laughs> and there's another Monday Green on this uh, Sinachi's um I'm I'm walk I'm walking I'm walking miracles I'm walking in I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor for I know who I am. And someone has said this, I am walking in oracle. I leave my rights for favor because I know Umahia. So these are Monday greens that we use. And like I said earlier on, I just do a short recap. <laughs> yes. A Monday green is a word or phrase resulting from a misinterpretation of another word or phrase that we hear and they share homophony with the original wording but often change the meaning of the word or phrase entirely with amusing results now the word degree came from an american author who coined the term after she recalled misery as a young girl according so hello Ifoma, how are you? How are you doing? How is Abuja today? Is it raining? It is sunny here in Lagos and it is burning my feet. I am sitting on the balcony and it is burning my feet. According to uh, <laughs> According to Sylvia Wright, an American author, she coined the term after a phrase she recalled me sharing as a young girl. She believed that the first stanza from the 17th century ballad featured two unfortunate aristocrats and this is the poem yeah ye highlands and ye lowlands oh where have you been they have slain the earl o Moray and lady mondegreen she thought lady mondegreen and earl Moray had been killed but actually the correct phrasing of fourth line is and laid him on the green so she coined this name in 1954 but since the beginning of speech we have been misinterpreting words and phrases and that is where the term mon green came from monday green i hold up the board you see monday green monday green monday green monday green that's the word okay. monday green monday green that's word and i've been reading so many of the monday greens so i was asking i've been asking people who have been watching if they have any monday greens that their children people they know have been using for instance uh, in nigeria that the first the first stanza the first line of our national anthem arise or compatriots nigerians say arise or compassion that's what they hear and that's what they think and i was talking about um michael jackson's don't stop till you get it remember that time in abraka they used to say Take a walk to the post office, see a teen teen gorilla. Meanwhile, the thing is come with the force. Don't stop till you get enough. Okay, Sanda Lily, Lily Sanda Lily. <laughs> Dr. Rafa James has come up with another one. This one I used to match. I remember this one. Sanda Lily, Lily Sanda Lily. I am a doctor in my country. Everyone know me well. And that's Sanda Lily. We used to sing when we were dancing or marching to class. It's actually standard living, standard living. Oh my goodness. Standard living has now become standard living. <laughs> it's really hot out here. I'm on the balcony because it's too hot inside. So I'm on the balcony. And that's it. And then, of course, you know, it's children. It's children who actually 
mistakes, especially with the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer, even in Nigeria here, like I said, there's one of them that is actually trending on Facebook right now. I think somebody went and recorded some children that are saying the Lord's Prayer or singing the national anthem, and it is, and it is trending on Facebook right now. And then you hear our Father, our Father who makes art in heaven. How do you know my name? <laughs> Doesn't that sound so funny? And deliver us from eagles instead of and deliver us from Eve. Deliver us some email. Hollywood be thy name. Forgive us our trash baskets as we forgive those who put trash in our baskets. Our Father who shouts from heaven. Hello, what is your name? And then there are so many of them. That one. They only to Calvary he went for me. <laughs> ah, that one is so funny. <laughs> and then this Natchez one that they say, I'm walking in Oracle. I leave my rights for favor because I know Umwa here. I'm walking in power, walking in miracles. That's correct. When I live a life of favor for I know who I am. I'm still waiting. It's only Dr. Raphael James who has been giving me some Monday dreams. And other people are watching. Other people are watching. Then they say the ants, the answer, my friend, blowing in the wind by Bob Tyler. Anyway, let's talk about our word for today. Our word for today is sabulous. Sabulous. Sabulous is an adjective and it is spelled S A B U L O U S and it means sandy. Or gritty and would you like to make a sentence with sabulous I'll hold it up so you can see what it looks like sabulous 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 okay sabulous. S -A -B -U -L -O -U -S. sabulous it's an adjective for okay let me let me let me even try one i don't know what she did i don't know how she managed to cook the rice but it was tasting fabulous that means it was gritty the sandy sandy you know some people in those days oh in those days when we were growing up you had to we had to pick rice before we boiled it to eat and then if you didn't pick it properly the rice would be fabulous that is sandy or if your your sandwich falls on the floor and you don't it is going to be fabulous. Benjamin Akin today, thank God. This is your long name, self. You are watching from Abuja. Thank you so much for joining our live broadcast, which is about coming to an end. Today, we've been talking about Monday Green. A Monday Green is um, a misinterpretation of a word or phrase that you hear. For instance, I gave uh, the most uh, uh, one, one example. Like when people are singing, or children, when they are singing Nigeria's national anthem, instead of arise, O compatriots, they say, arise, O compassion. And then some um, comedians have talked about people when they are singing this uh, popular chorus, all the way to Calvary, he went for me. They say, Oweri, to Calvary, he went for me. And then another person, this is this one is most, uh, most current. Uh, Sinachis, I'm walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of favor for I know who I am. The comedians have changed it to I'm working in Oracle. I leave my rights for favor because I know Umwa here. And these and there are many other Monday Greens and I've been asking those who have been to give me some money. Young children especially, they know how to misinterpret the miss here. Dr. F. James has just said, has just said, Lily, Sandra, Lily. And many people must have sung that one from that particular era. I'm a doctor in my country, everyone know me well. And that standard lily is actually standard living. And like I remember, like I said, we used to sing this song about girls wanted. I mean myself, I didn't even know girls of muscles, brain and power, feet as in with everything. When the other thing is girls with virtues, brain and power, fit to cope with everything and i remember my my younger cousin then when she was she just came she sing pc pepe tidy i used to wonder this it was a children's um a children's uh, PC paper line on the ground and then she goes pc pepe tidy and I was, what is pc pepe tidy 
tidy. Until later, I discovered that it was it is a place on tidy. It makes the plants. She just said it is pieces of paper tidy because she had had pieces of paper, and so that is how young children they know how to misinterpret and mishear lyrics. So our quotable quotes for this season, we'll be talking about quotes on loving libraries. Doctor James should be. University has a free library in Ajibo. So our quote today is from Elizabeth Kostova. So she says, It was good to walk into a library again. It smelled like home. It's a quotable quote for today. We're talking about libraries and in this season we're talking about libraries. Elizabeth Kostova is an American author best known for her debut novel, The Historian. And why were we talking about libraries? Last week I mentioned that I went to a school here in Lagos, a government school, both junior and senior secondary school, and it is a school for hearing and hearing impaired children. And they are, they are crying out for books in their library. So I went into their library for the senior section, and I discovered that most of the shelves are half filled. Even the one for English is half filled. So. Uh, as the days go by, I am making an appeal. If you have any books that you are not using for children, because the principal wants to encourage book reading culture, and also this program is designed to encourage bringing back the book reading culture, because most of us who are watching, we had the benefit of reading books. But this current generation, they would rather pick up an iPad or an iPod or whatever, and they will. There are very few of them who read books, but we want to encourage bringing back the book. And if the principal of the school of hearing is a special school, hearing and hearing impaired children, is running a campaign to bring back the book, we would like to support her. And as verses and paragraphs would like to support the school. It's a government secondary school here in Lagos. They have hearing and hearing impaired children, even some children with Down syndrome, some with autism, they attend that school, but she wants books. So we're using this program to ask you if you have any books that your children are long, please don't throw them away. Look for a way to send them to us here in Lagos. And if you have them, let us know. We'll tell you where to send them to. Having said that, I would like to thank everyone who has joined our podcast today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Ola and Ella for watching from M. Thank you, Dr. Rafael Jim. Thank you, Dr. Yami. I don't know where he's watching from. Benjamin, I know you're watching from Abuja. I don't know where you're watching from. Please, if I miss that name, it's not by, it's not by, it's by mistake. It's not, I can't remember the names have gone up. Anyway, thank you so much for joining this live because if you were not here, I wouldn't have done it out. I wouldn't have done it out. So, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Do join our live broadcast. Thank you so much for watching and have a pleasant rest of the day. Bye-bye.